Hello there, my name is Wolfgang and welcome back to the number one most subscribed channel on YouTube. That's right, this is the channel with the most subscribers in the world. Please don't check that. I was originally gonna make this video about just weird stuff on Amazon in general, like these lobster slippers I found. I'm not sure what they are made of, but they smell toxic. Very strong odor of chemicals. Devil sign on the back, one star. On the back of the shoes there is 666, why? Evil company, do not buy. Yeah, but then I went down a weird rabbit hole when I saw this mug. I love my cheating girlfriend. Now, this is way too specific to actually be made by a human being. My theory is that this company just has an algorithm that takes a template that says I love X and automatically creates merchandise with every possible noun. So you end up with things like this shirt that says I love buttons or I love then. That one doesn't even make sense, grammatically. Or a shirt that says I love steroids. This could actually be a very funny thing to wear in the gym, especially if you're really skinny. I love big dumps. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> that's not appropriate. I don't think you could be working in the office and drinking from this mug like, oh, hey boss, yeah, how, how's it going? I also like how it says, it's one of the best funny Valentine's Day gifts. Yeah, sure, I, I'm sure your girlfriend would love this. I love big dumps mug. I love pig's zip. What? I love pig zip. What does this mean? I, I don't know. Like a pig with a with a zipper? Is that what you like? More convenient, I guess? Is that it? That must be it. If even one person has actually bought this shirt, I would be shocked. They definitely only print the shirt when someone buys it. So I wonder what would happen if somebody actually placed an order for this. Dude, someone ordered this shirt. Is, is that what it's supposed to say? I love pig zip? We're really selling that? Doesn't mean anything. Who's buying this? I love tax evasion. Yep, great. Just announce your love for committing federal crimes with this mug. This would be especially great for somebody who works at the IRS. The description says, ideal for hot coffee, iced coffee, hot cocoa, tea, cereal? Cereal? Can you imagine coming downstairs and seeing a family member eating cereal out of a mug that says, I love tax evasion? You'd probably think that they've gone clinically insane. I love my ex-boyfriend. Yep, that's great. Put it right at your front door so everyone knows you're not over your ex before they even enter your home. That'll show all your guests that you're perfectly mentally healthy. Hashtag prostate, what? Hashtag sarcophagus? <laughs> Hashtag cupboard. Who is getting a, a water bottle that says hashtag covered? <laughs> hashtag covered. There's something just so surreal and absurd about that. It's, it's first of all, it's the fact that you're printing out a hashtag. Like hashtags are something that work exclusively on the internet. That's something that does not work in real life. You can't click on a hashtag on a, on a water bottle. Why did I say like that water bottle? Secondly, it's just imagine sitting next to someone at the library to look over and they have a stainless steel water bottle that just says hashtag covered on it. Hashtag tampon. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, it's just, just gets better and better. Just use every possible word in the dictionary. Break this out for party or parties, lounging, hiking, camping, cycling, uh, any other activities. You can show it off to your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, boss, secretary, or any other family member. Yeah, show everyone in your family and all your friends your water bottle with hashtag scabies on it in default Microsoft Word font. I'm sure they're all gonna love it. One of the great things about these items is that they're all AI generated, obviously. So there's no human who actually looks at them before they go on Amazon. So you end up with a mug that says, I bought this shirt with your money. Or how about this workout shirt? Yep. Or if it's Halloween, you can get the scariest shirt ever. That sure is a scary shirt. Yeah, it really is. Clearly there's zero quality control here. It's all done by bots. Then you have the classic like, you had me at bacon. Oh, you had me at tacos shirts. Sure, very funny, very cute, haha, <laughs> whatever. But what happens when you let a random word generator make these shirts? Well, you end up with, you had me at discriminating. Yeah, you had me at discriminating. You didn't have to say anything more. I was already on board. For all you fans of discrimination out there, make it very clear. You had me at deflogisticating. What the hell is that? Deflogist. Deflogisticating refers to the now disproven process of removing phlogiston, a supposed fire-like element from a substance during combustion as per the 17th and 18th century phlogiston theory. Oh yeah, dude, awesome. Yeah, everyone who doesn't love removing mythical fire-like elements from combustion. I wonder why this shirt has zero reviews. Nobody's, nobody's bought this? No way. You're telling me people aren't buying these for every member of their family? You had me at with my monkey. Okay, that, that means nothing. That's not a sentence. That means anything. The perfect gift. This tea can make a great gift for that man or woman in your life on any gift giving holiday or even just because. Whether it is Christmas, Father's Day, Mother's Day, a birthday, a wedding. Okay, a wedding? If you show up to my wedding with a shirt that says you had me at midget I'm throwing hands right then and there. 
Nobody's leaving alive. <laughs> Can I even say make sure? I'm probably gonna have to censor it. And second of all, could we not say those words? Could we say adult films starring people with dwarfism? Is that so hard to say? Then there's this license plate that says, you had me at coffee, right? Okay, fine, funny, ha ha. But for some reason, this one didn't separate the words me and at. So it just says, you had meat coffee, which, <laughs> which just sounds disgusting. I love my oldest daughter. That seems nice until you realize that it implies that they have more than one daughter and they just love the oldest one. <laughs> I love sweat. Sweatpants. Wait, he, wait, he's not even wearing sweatpants. Those are jeans. Well, now I don't know who to believe. I got gargoyles in my blood. That's, that's not good. I got swords in my blood. You should probably see a hematologist about that. The recommended number of swords in your blood, I think is zero. This is my wine tasting mug. That is a pillowcase. Yeah, I drink wine out of this bad boy all the time. My wife hates me for it and our sheets are permanently stained in red, but it's worth it. It's my best mug. I'd rather be playing video games. Okay, fine, that's harmless, but how about I'd rather be miscarrying? What the f dude? That's so dark. I'd rather be starving. I'd rather be perishing. Why are these all so brutal? Like, you walk into a place wearing a shirt that says, I'd rather be dead than be here. This place sucks. I'd rather be starving out in the jungle somewhere. It's like, damn dude, okay, you don't have to be here if you hate it so much. I think the most likes I ever got on a video was 250. So how about if this video gets 300 likes? I'll buy something from one of these items and I'll use it in a future video. You can comment below which one you wanna see me get. Except for the midget one. That one would probably get me kicked out of every establishment. Guys, I gotta say, this is a certified bra moment right here. For all of you that love old memes, I guess. How about this shirt that just says, I hate the environment? That's such an odd thing to take a stance against. I hate trees. I hate grass. I hate bees. I hate the ocean. Just, just get rid of all of it, honestly. Just replace all of it with a Walmart parking lot. That's my stance. Then you've got these shirts with job titles like Station Cook AF. AF meaning as f So it's like, I'm such a station cook, which is fine. I don't know what that implies, but it's fine. But then these are all AI generated. So you have every possible job title like... <gasps> Barber and beauty equipment and supplies sales representative AF. No, who's going to buy that? That's way too long. Mining and oil well equipment and services sales engineer AF. Is that even a real job title? Is this relatable to anybody? There's gotta be like one guy on earth who has this very specific job. They just need to find out who he is and then they got the sale. They've also got these shirts with the got X tagline, obviously a play on the milk got milk motto that was popular like 20 years ago. Got moths? I don't think so. Got muskiness? I hope not. Got plane tree? Okay, they're not even trying. Got name ambush? What the hell's a name ambush? Got asbestos? I really hope not. I think their word generator broke on this next one. Got US 2320010337890 Yeah, you'll look really cool walking around town wearing that on your head. Hashtag scurvy for all the pirates out there who want to represent. L plus ratio. Hashtag coom. I don't even know what to say to that one. Hashtag wart. That's just disgusting. Nobody's gonna wear that. Shut up and bring me asparagus. That's right, just bring me a whole stock of asparagus. Nobody in history has ever said this sentence, but you can be the first person to wear it on your shirt. I am 50. That's nice. No, no little jokes, silly little jokes or nice font or anything. Just default text slapped right on there. Just I am 50. Nothing worth celebrating, I guess. The, the text isn't even aligned properly. Like this just sucks. <laughs> like this would be such a mean gift to give somebody who turned 50. Just like, yeah, you're 50. Who gives a shit at this point, man? Here. I'm addicted to milk loaf. I don't think milk loaf exists. Is this, is this a thing? Uh, maybe it's meant to say meatloaf or maybe it is just really like bread that's made of milk. That sounds actually that. No, that sounds gross. All right, that's it for this video. Please make sure to comment and like and subscribe. My name is Wolfgang and tune into my next video where I will do a backflip into a bottomless hole. Okay, bye.